boohoo story. Hey, you uh, got a sec? So here it is. Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these uh, flashes, memories of places I've never been, things I've never seen, memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. Someone your age should be happy to have any memories at all, let alone a spare set. <laughs> I suppose so. But having to juggle my memories and all Nick's baggage makes things tough sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. We could give you a new name. Would that help? Ah, I got it. Crumblebot. 3,000. <laughs> well, I suppose it's the thought that counts. You know, I... I'm just gonna need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're... You're a real good friend. Thanks. You also love to talk. What else you wanna you tell know, me? You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. What kind of history are we talking here? This one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time, in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Nick, you can't be saying what I think you're saying. Oh, I'm saying it all right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter, safe and sound, ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him, so that never happens. You in? I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. I've got memories of a, of a girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful and innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that, are you in? All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, keeps I know telling where me where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a 
complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded 10 holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to, uh, including one of Winter's that I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. My gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking this one. It's probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. Wow, that was a lot of talking. I can repair my armor now. If you ain't on, you ain't long for this one. Because I definitely need to. Yeah, repair that. My helmet didn't take any damage. That should hold up nicely. It's your loved ones with my fine hand cannons. A lot of leg damage. Some arm damage too, but nothing too major. I forgot to wear my power armor once here, and let me tell you, it's a bad idea. You will get dropped. I have alien power armor, I just didn't yeah. grab it before I came here. Scott. I saw somebody's uh, video where they're wearing that. Good. I'm not gonna go all the way back just for better looking power armor. What's this? Huh. This must have been the conversation that I missed. I feel we're gonna drop. new weapons and I'm not using them. Bad, bad me. Powerful night shotgun. It's more powerful than what I got. I've been meaning to get a new shotgun for a while now, so that's good. Ha. <laughs> I gotta sell a lot. I'll just stay with this laser rifle. Ah, the trappers, I knew it. Oh, there's the other one. What is he doing? Looking 
That is why you don't trust bats. Oh, it's... Oh, shit. Take one of these. Holy shit. What is that? Oh, that thing don't look nice. I need to look back. Oh. What happened to my gun? I'm getting all sorts of stupid glitches right now. Oh, shit. A little hanging. Skin this house, get a foothold. Get the sniper out. I run my ass upstairs with these blood marks. Oh crap. Could use those frag mines. Where is he? Side. God. Can't be on the side I want him to be on. Where is he? Let's do yourself a favor and don't trust bats. I just hate it. It only works sometimes. There's the relentless trapper. I'm like missing on top of him not doing shit. Nick's right there. What, what is Nick doing? Look, he's right there. There's Nick. There's the guy. And now there's just Nick. <laughs> oh, these glitches. It's a frog. Wow. <laughs> what once was a frog. Frog fish. Yeah. I'm gonna stay with with that. <laughs> Sick as hell looking. Uh oh. Need not messing with me. The environments. I mean, look. Small amount of walking. So much interesting stuff to just take my attention. This is so cool. Back at the red rocket. We're just here. Oh, it's another one. It's definitely someone. Oh, so
Southwest Harbor. Nice. Oh, no, that's it. We were here. This was... I didn't realize this was the location. Wow. Huh. I ended my video right over there and I found the red rocket, which I explored this way instead of... Cool. Well, here we are. We'll continue it. Just to make the video not too long. Sweet. I knew we had to explore this area. <laughs> it just looks too damn missiony. Blood. Nah, it's oil. I guess. Blood. Blood. Stay tuned. Peace.